Hello and welcome, my name is Thomas and in this video I'm going to show you a quick tip for how to transfer WordPress posts from one WordPress website to another. Okay, so one thing you might be wondering right off the bat is why would you want to import or migrate posts from one WordPress website to another? So one of the things that I typically recommend if you're going to be changing or switching WordPress themes is to just do that with a blank install of WordPress. Essentially what that means is on your host, you have a freshly installed version of WordPress. There's no extra plugins, there's no extra themes, there's no extra things in there, there's no content. That way, once you activate that new theme, you don't have to worry about conflicts or any content getting overridden or anything going wrong. One of the issues with that, however, is that you still have to migrate over all the posts, all the content from the old website to the new one. One of the problems that I hear all the time and I used to run into all the time myself was that the images, the post images and thumbnails are not getting migrated over to the new WordPress website. Everything else works great, but the posts aren't doing it properly. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a trick, a plugin that you can use to ensure that not only all the post content, but also the images and the post thumbnails make it over during the migration process. Okay, so I'm not actually gonna be changing themes myself here, at least with my Rightly and Co website. I might actually be uh, setting one up for my personal site here using Notable Press. But let's just say that I did. Let's just say that I wanted to take all of my content, all of my posts from my current WordPress website and I wanted to transfer them over to a new one. Well, typically that's actually not too challenging of a, of a uh, thing to do with WordPress inherently because you can just go down to tools and then you can go down to export which for most people, that's actually gonna work great. The issue that you run into is that if you do not select all content uh, when you go through that process, you're not gonna have those images and thumbnails included. But what if you don't want all of these extra post types included in your export? It's understandable that you would not, particularly uh, if a lot of those custom post types are inherent to the theme that you're currently exporting from. So for example, these videos is a special post type that I created in this theme. Those are not going to migrate over to my new theme. Only posts will. Uh, however, but again, if I select posts only, there is a little option down here that doesn't usually appear. This isn't here. Uh, however, the reason it is here is because I have installed a plugin. So let's go over to plugins. And I'll show you which one you wanna make sure that you install prior to the export process. So I'm gonna scroll on down here and it's called export media with selected content. So if I were to open up a quick search. Okay, so here's the actual plugin page itself. It's called export media with selected content. So all that you have to do is download this and then upload and activate this particular plugin. Now it is a little bit older, so it hasn't been tested for a while, but its functionality still works from the last I have tested it. So like I said, all it's gonna do is under tools uh, and under export, it's going to offer you this uh, additional option to export media with selected content. You usually wouldn't be able to do that if you were just selecting posts. Okay, so once we've got all our settings adjusted here, we just wanna go down and make sure that we have checked export media with selected content. And then we're going to click download export file. Okay, and once that file has exported, we're just gonna save that to our computer. Then we're going to jump back over to the site that we are going to want to be importing that in. So this is a Notable Press website uh, that I have started to set up. And as we can see here, it's kind of got some demo content that it gives you throughout the process of that setup. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to the admin and we're gonna go back down to tools, similar to what we did for our import, except for, or I should say for our export. And this time we're just going to click on import. Now, if you haven't already, you'll see a uh, installed the WordPress importer. You'll see a little option here that says install. Now you just click that and then we're gonna click run import. See here, we've got a little option to select a file. 
So I'm gonna select that file off of my desktop and then I'm going to click upload file and import. The next thing that you'll see is that you have an option here to map users. So we've got this user uh, from the old website and then from here I get to select who I apply those posts to as the author for this new website. If you've got a whole bunch of posts with a whole bunch of authors, you can uh, create those users with a login name here. Lastly, and this is really important, we wanna make sure that we download and import file attachments uh, that that is selected. Then we're going to just go ahead and click submit. And one of the things that you wanna know, particularly if you are doing a lot of posts and or a lot of posts with uh, a lot of images and a lot of content, this process could take a little bit of time because it is actually gonna go through the process of downloading all of those images from that other website throughout the importing process. Okay, so it looks like it finished that process successfully. Now, sometimes what you might run into is an error at this point, particularly if you're importing a lot of posts. So one of the things I would recommend if you've got like years and years of like weekly or daily posts, like if you're excess of 500 posts or even a thousand, I'm gonna recommend that you do this in chunks. So maybe do this at like, six month intervals where you pick a six month chunk and then do that rather than trying to do it all at once. You can try to do it all at once, but if you get an error, you have to go in there, delete your posts. Long story short, it's probably gonna be a little bit easier that you actually split this up into like six month chunks. Now, if you're still getting an error for whatever reason, I'm gonna recommend that you reach out to your server host and ask, uh, ask them to actually boost the amount of time that your server can execute a process. Because a lot of times, since it is doing so much, it's pulling in so much data, so many images, depending upon how many images you have, it can just sometimes take the server too long. And so once it reaches a certain point of time that it's been executing that function for, it'll just throw an error. So uh, try those two things if you're not, uh, if it's not succeeding the first time that you try it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop on over to posts and we're gonna take a look here. We'll see that we've got our sample posts, of course, up there at the top. And then it's just imported that handful of posts that I had selected in the date range. Okay, so I've gone in here and you see all the images are included. And this is the really important part. You'll see that the featured image is included as well. Had I not gone through and included that uh, plugin uh, before exporting from the other site, that would not have been included. So you'll see that it is now in addition to all of the posts. So now if I jump on over to the front end, go out to latest, of course, I'm still going to see those sample posts but it's also included all of the other ones as well. So you see here, it's got all the site content, everything imported as we would imagine. Now then, all I would have to do is go into my posts section and then delete all of the sample posts. Do that really quick in just a few clicks. Move to the trash, go to latest. And there we go. We've got all of my site content just as you would imagine. Okay, so that's it. Just a really quick tip for you today. Hopefully that saves you a bunch of time because I know I've had quite a number of headaches in the past, particularly as I've done this for my own sites and for a lot of my clients, just trying to get a new fresh install of WordPress and then finally get all those uh, posts migrated over. So as always, if you found this video useful, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hey, so I get asked all the time how I make my videos. So I decided to put together for you a free one hour training, which I'm calling the seven pillars of effective video. Again, this is totally free. So click the box in the top right hand corner of this video. You can also head on over to rightly.tv slash training. Again, this is totally free. Head on over to rightly.tv slash training.